Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy and this is my hobby home. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you checking out what I've got going on. And today what I have going on is my first haul for Christmas 2024. I'm going to set not one, not two, but three bags down to show you guys what I got. Sorry, I'm pushing you around. The first bag I'm going to show you really has non-break. I'm hoping it has non-breakable items in it. Um, if you do not, if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, I know our Hobby Lobby currently has Christmas. Uh, items on sale 50% off fabric is at 40% right now and Thanksgiving is also at 50% I did not buy any Thanksgiving items uh, specifically but I do have some items that I will be using for Thanksgiving as well but mainly this is Christmas the first thing I got is a set of the red flameless candle sets i got this now you'll see the price there it was 50 percent off i had a set of these and i think i still have a set of three um but i had several sets and i think they got mixed up but anyway the candles aren't working so i got a set of red because back Earlier, I think in this year, I painted my uh, behind my fireplace like a cool, uh, comfortable gray white color. And so I didn't want to put a white in front of that. So I'm doing red. So that, of course, will be specifically for Christmas. So I will be able to pack this down with my Christmas items at the end of the season. The next thing that I got is a, a garland a greenery garden garland it's flame retardant which it is over my fireplace so i have to make sure everything is flame retardant all i needed was a garland i will be putting picks and um bobble ornaments or ball christmas balls in this so i just needed like um greenery and i can poof it out and y'all see that at what the price is there got that 50 percent off and it, it's a pretty good let me see if it tells how long it is uh it's nine feet long so it will go across the top of my mantle and come down a little bit i currently have two lighted garlands that i've probably had for about 10 years half the lights don't work and the garland is looking kind of sad so i will replace those with this one garland and each year i can put picks in it until it starts looking sad so those are two non-breakable things the items in the white bags are all wrapped so well now here's another non-break i don't know why they didn't put this in there I have some glitter iron on. I am having to order some more vinyl because I will be doing a Cricut project for you guys sometime this holiday season because I will be making some cute little t-shirts. Now, I don't know what this is. It's, oh yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. I was thinking it, it's kind of strange. It's a uh, oblong feeling here, and I can't remember what it was. But I have two. One, I have one short bottle and one tall bottle. And uh, the bottles, these bottles were also, I think, 40% off. Like I said, I normally do not buy things unless they are on sale. I always, because I know at Hobby Lobby, they will go on sale. So if I have to go every Saturday to check, keep checking. But I got this bottle and another one. It's probably in my other bag. 
because when I went to pull my peppers out of my garden bed, my Tabasco peppers had something else in mind and they have got another growing of peppers and my pepper plant is so full of peppers right now. They're green. They're not turning red. It's probably because it is in the 70s now, so it'll take them longer, but I'm going to go on and get those green peppers off because I can make pepper sauce or or vinegar pepper, um, or pepper vinegar, whatever they call it. I can make those in these jars. I'll put a, like a garlic clove in the bottom and do the vinegar in there. Because my husband loves peppers and I told him I'm not planting peppers next year. So whatever I have this year, that's what he's going to have. Because he hasn't, and I'm, I got this short bottle. I'll show you the big bottle because I got a bigger one for here. But I will do the, that one for him to take with him to work. Now, this next thing I have, I have several of them. I'm only going to pull one out. I have five of them. And I will show you. I think that, yeah, there's two in that right there. Okay. You saw the red candles. Well, I found these little stands that I'm going to put these candles on because the those red candles are going to be behind the green garland. And I'm just doing this to elevate it a little bit. And if I see that this elevates it above the garland, I will get some little garland rings. You can actually buy those at Dollar Tree. You can, and it's not even a garland ring. You can go buy, uh, it's a package of individual little pine ties or something they're about an, a foot long and you can wrap it around this to cover the base of that candle so i got five of these and i i did get the white that way i can use these all year long so that is going to be a multi-use purchase and when i go into hobby lobby I always pass their 3M stand and I always get these because I always have pictures and stuff I need to hang and uh, recently, well, let me just show it to you. I have it right here. Um, on uh, the Siberian Wind, one of her Tuesday nights, she does giveaways, plays game, does giveaways and um, it's kind of a dirty Santa. It's not really a dirty Santa, but like uh, if you win, she'll pull something out of her bin and show it to you and you can take it or pass. And if you pass, the second thing you is yours. Well, my name was picked and I passed on the first thing and look what I got, y'all. Let me make sure I have it. I got this beautiful, this is painted, hand painted by Tammy at the Siberian Wind. And I know I got a little piece of tape on that glass. I got to get it off. And that is fabric that she painted on. She hand painted it herself. And um, I chose this because this was the second thing, but that was perfect because I love it. I think it looks great in this frame. So I framed this. And I need to hang it. So I hang all of my pictures in my house on these things here. Instead of putting holes in my walls. So, and I got three of them. I always try to find, and that was all they had on that, that stand. So let me get to my last bag. And, oh, I was going to tell you, these things here, they were $2.99 and they were 50% off. So, I paid $1.50 each. So, this here, yeah, this is the one. I have four of these. So, I'm just going to lay the other three over out of the way. This right here. Now, last year I bought four because that's all they had. And I was like, well, I can mix and match with what I already have. But this year they had a row that had nothing but red dishes on it. So I was like, 
Oh, yeah. And I actually, they had red stands just like this, but I was like, I can't use those all year long. But they did have these. This is a goblet glass or tumbler. And let me see. These are by Robert Stanley. It's called the Iced Tea Goblet. And y'all, I, I can't buy these unless they're on sale. It was $11.99, so I paid $6 a glass. It, it is thick glass, very good glass, but I love these. Um, so now I have an eight-piece setting of these glasses. So I got four of them. So this year, uh, my table seats eight people. So that's me and my husband and my three kids and their spouse or significant other. Um, and then we have grandbabies. So right now, that's all we have at our table anyway. So this would be perfect. I thought I was just going to have to mix and match because I do have some green tea goblets that I could use, but it's perfect now. I have eight, so I'm very excited about that. I, I mean, today, y'all, I was so excited. I was finding things I didn't need, and the thing I did need, um, I needed some heat transfer vinyl, and they didn't, I don't, okay, this brand, I don't know it, I, so I don't know. I really like um, Sizer or Caesar, S-I-S-E-R, Sizer, Easy Weed um, Vinyl. They have that at Michael's. They do not have it at Hobby Lobby. So now I am looking at doing an order online at Direct Vinyl because they can do it in sheets and I can get it just in sheets instead of buying a whole big roll of it. This is the other pepper jar and let me put them side by side so you can see this would be his travel when he goes to work and this would be the one for here at the house or actually it's going to go in the pantry uh, once I jar those peppers up because I already have one in my refrigerator so and I don't know what the oh yes I do remember what this is I was wondering, I got one more thing in here and I couldn't figure out what it was. So y'all, if you are new here, let me tell you, hi, my name is Kathy and I'm addicted to Christmas. Very much addicted to Christmas. I do Christmas all year long. I'm either sewing Christmas, cross-stitching Christmas, making Christmas, anything. But look at this. Is this not the cutest little mug? Look at that. Look at that Santa face. Is he not the cutest? So guys, I have a task for you. My sister and I were trying to find it. Um, most of y'all know that I am a diabetic. I was diagnosed um, about about 2022. We realized after I had the CVID. I can't say it on here because it'll do something to my video. But after I was after I had that, uh, my pancreas was damaged. I'm good. I just can't have sugar. And we're healing that though. Um, but nobody needs sugar. That's poison for you. But it is so hard to not have sugar. But we have been looking for like sugar-free spiced teas. I don't drink coffee. So let me just say that up front, I do not drink coffee. Um, I don't know why I don't like coffee. I, I wish I did because there's so many wonderful sounding coffees out there. But anything with coffee flavor, I just don't like it. And my sister loves coffee. So we're always trying to find um, really good flavors of stuff that, you know, we could drink that don't have sugar. So we're looking for... Uh, sugar-free um, teas, spice teas, uh, hot chocolates. Um, now, I am going to try to get me another K-cup machine. It's probably not going to be a Keurig. I had a Keurig that had the water reservoir on the side. I just did not like that. I just need a one-cup Keurig. That's all I need, one cup. 
But, y'all, I got me a new Santa mug for my hot chocolate. Now, of course, I can no longer put the marshmallows in my hot chocolate because that's nothing but whipped sugar. But here we have a beautiful little Santa mug. I love mugs. I love Santa mugs. Um, and I think this one is perfect. He's a squatty little guy. And he's really textured. I like that real textured thing on them now. They're having a lot of mugs that have that. And he's so cute. So, guys, that ends my first Christmas 2024 shopping haul. Now, that's not to say I haven't purchased gifts for my grandbabies all year long because you know I got them grandbabies I'm always buying them Christmas I'm always buying gifts to put away for Christmas so they have gifts but as far as a shopping haul for Christmas 2024 this is the first one and I got a Santa I got me a Santa so y'all hang in here with me y'all are going to be seeing a lot more Christmas because I love Christmas so thank you so much for joining me if you have not yet Please give me a thumbs up. Um, share my channel with your friends and families and co-workers and strangers. That's okay. I don't mind it. Maybe they'll enjoy it too. Uh, I do plan on doing some advent calendars for you guys this year. Uh, as of right now, I have two. I think that's all I have right now is two. I am still on the lookout for some good ones that don't cost an arm and a leg. I know one that I'm probably going to buy again this year, and that is the pet advent calendar, the pet toys, because my cats absolutely love all the toys that came in that box. They literally are still playing with them. My little gray cat, Augie, she will bring the little pillows to my husband and have him throw them for her. She fetches them like a dog and brings them back. So I will probably do that again. And both of my grandbabies like those toys too. So I might get them one too. Who knows? <laughs> that may be their stocking gift. But I am looking for affordable. Now I've seen a lot of quilting boxes. I've seen some beautiful quilting boxes. But the Missouri Star Quilt Company is... I've got that box and that was over $200 I think or right at $200 so that that's my limit um on that and I do have the Bella Rose quilts I have that box that I should be receiving sometime this month um I don't know I've got to go check and see if I'm getting when I'm getting that box but I will be having a few other advent calendars for you guys um as the season progresses maybe not necessarily in november though we're still waiting on thanksgiving before i put any of this up i i do not rush thanksgiving because i do have thanksgiving uh plans with my children so we will be having that happen also but guys leave a comment tell me what you think and my task for y'all is do y'all know of any sugar-free like k-cups or something like that that i should try do you have like a i love mints i love chocolates i love spiced teas i just don't do coffee so y'all give me suggestions i'm all for suggestions um and it it doesn't need to be like a k-cup because i don't like mixing things and i let the machine do it for me but in the month of December, uh, even if if y'all don't have any suggestions, I will be have sharing with you guys a cup of cheer. And I'll let you know what that cup of cheer is every day. So thank you so much for joining me. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very festive Thanksgiving season. And we'll, we'll wait on Christmas before we start having a Merry Christmas, okay? So, see you guys next time. Goodbye.